Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I just want to talk about this Fluke Analog Tone and Probe Kit, the Pro 3000, the Fluke Pro 3000. You can see here I have two different uh, probes here, and that's really the only difference. If you're not familiar with a, a Tone and Probe, uh, it constitutes two different pieces. You get a tone generator, that's what this box represents here, and you have a probe that's looking for the tone. This generates a signal that it sends out over these clips through a wire and the probe is designed to pick up that tone on the other end of the wire, right? I've got a short piece of wire here to sort of illustrate. So this generates the tone, sends it out the wire, the probe seeks out that tone and you try to find where the end of a, a cable might terminate. So just to show briefly how this works, the generator works, uh, on this particular model and you have to hold down this power button briefly, instead of just pressing it down, you hold it down for a couple seconds, that turns it on the solid mode. You can see here it says it has solid and, and alternate signal right here, and that's what we're doing. Right now we're on the solid tone, so I'm going to turn on the probe, and I do that by holding down this on button. And you can see it's, it's sensing the tone over there from the generator, so I'm going to push the generator off to the side. And we're going to see if we can pick up this signal. I'm probing around these different wires. And you can see it's very loud on the two that I've... that I've connected the generator to. Okay, I let off the button, it stops uh, sniffing for that signal. So that's, in a nutshell, how they work. Now this model has some different options. If I press this button again, it's now going to send an alternate tone, and you can hear that. So it's not a solid tone anymore. It's it's sending an alt tone that's uh, playing a sound that's different. Now the way this is uh, set up is that if I were to, and I'll show the difference here. It might be easier to illustrate on this guy. So here's here's the other one. Now the only difference between these two options that you'll see when you're out shopping for these, they both have the same probe generator. Both both of these. Uh, uh, options, these kits. The only difference is the probes themselves. The yellow one has a filter, the blue one does not, right? So the Pro 3000 has, doesn't have a filter, the Pro 3000, I think F60 probe, I guess that's how it's branded, does. So this one I can show because I can, on this one you you have to hold the button down for a couple seconds and then it stays on. Kind of not like your traditional uh, probe. Most probes uh, are going to have a button that you keep holding down just like you do on this one, right? So I have this guy here sniffing for the signal. There's our alternate signal. Now if I take, this is kind of hard to illustrate too, but I'm going to try here. If I touch these wires together, it's going to change the tone. Here out the tone is changing every time I touch the wires together for a couple seconds. That's by design. So the idea is that you can take wires on the other end, touch them together and find a pair of wires. That's why the tune changes when you touch these wires. That's the idea of that feature. The other option on this thing is, of course, we have tone mode on, on this generator, and you also have continuity. And all that, that's the CONT option. So all that's saying is that, if you can see that, let me show that up close there. That's showing that uh, if I, all that does is if I touch these wires together, see the light turns on? You get a red light here when it senses continuity on, on two wires. So that's all it's really doing, it's just a quick sort of continuity test that's totally visual uh, and, and it's based on looking for that light. You can see the light turning on and off as I touch the wires. So that's a continuity test. We go back over to tone, that's what most people are going to use this for. If we touch the button again, it turns off. So it's a little confusing because you have to hold it down to turn it on, but just one touch turns it off. Well, two touches I guess, right? So if I hold it down, turns it on, hit it again, it goes to alt, hit it to you. So there's two touches to actually turn it off. Anyhow, the big question, I think a lot of folks are familiar with that, a tone probe kit, but I wanted to um, illustrate that quickly in case you weren't familiar with it. Now, when we have these two options, uh, I think the big question for a lot of folks is, does it make sense to get the one with the filter, the yellow one? Well, let me just try to, I'm going to try to illustrate that here briefly and show you just using some electrical noise. And this isn't a perfect, it's not a perfect example, but Hopefully it gives us uh, an illustration of what we're trying to show here. So I take the regular generator, I've got the volume all the way up, or the probe I mean. So I'm going to hold this probe up and let's hear, just listen for a noise. And you hear that static noise, right? 
that's what the filter is supposed to eliminate. Now let's see if we pick how much we pick up just getting near an electrical power source. Right? Now that's full volume and you hear that noise. Now I can tell you from experience, I don't know what it is about that electrical noise that this picks up, but it drives people crazy. Uh, and it seems like, particularly uh, women, it seems to drive them nuts. I know that from experience, that sound is very irritating to people. Uh, so let's try it on the one with the filter. I'm going to hold this button down and it stays on. I don't have to hold this button down. Let's see what kind of noise. I got the volume all the way up. Let's see what kind of noise we get now. As you can see, there's a lot less noise coming through. So significantly quieter. Now I can turn the filter off on this by pushing the button down. I think it's red when it's off. See how much noise we hear now? And that's just sheer noise in the wire, right? I believe that's the hertz that we're picking up on. So you can see the filter does work. Cuts down on a lot of noise uh, with that filter. So I do think it's worth the extra cost to get this one with the filter. You just have to get used to the fact that this button is not something that you hold and you keep pressed down. Yeah, this one we do have to keep it on. Like I said, it's much more noise, much more static. So if you're in the market for one of these Fluke Tone Probe generators, uh, I would suggest getting the, uh, the one with the filter. I think the yellow one's worth the extra money. Uh, for that feature just because that electrical static noise I know is, is super annoying to people. If you don't know, just get around some folks and let them hear that noise. You'll, you'll see how quickly people react to it. And a lot of times, you know, we can't get away from electrical noise. Uh, it's always, if you're testing in a network closet, low voltage, whatever, there's, there's power always coming from somewhere uh, that's interrupting or that's being picked up along with the tone uh, or the probe generator sound that, that this guy is putting out. So, so there you have it, folks. Just a quick word on a on tow probe generator. If you've never used one, that's kind of a, a very sort of a crash course on how they work. Uh, they can be very handy for tracing wires. You can see that this guy also has a, I think this is a, yeah, this would be a, uh, I think it's an RJ11. So that's like a, uh, a smaller connector there. And, and the idea, I think, of course, you could hook this in a bigger jack. Um, but, but you know, it, it's going to, the pins are going to connect in the center. So you could use this in network jacks or RG11 or, or whatever, like regular modular phone jacks. It's going to cover the gamut there to, to plug this in to a regular, uh, female plug and then generate a signal and pick it up on the other end on the wire. So, so you have different ways to connect. So that this can be really handy in addition to the, uh, alligator clips as well. So there you have it, just a quick word on this Fluke Pro 3000 uh, Analog Tone and Probe Kit. Uh, one thing I should point out, I guess, is that they came in different packaging. The standard one, that's the one without the filter, it came in this package, right? So this blue, the blue one came in this sort of blister pack package. The Pro 3000 uh, F60 Probe came in this black box with the, uh, they, they both come with a case, by the way, same case, paperwork is in the back of the case with an instruction manual. And this is how that one came, boxed up with the case in the center, very nice case. Uh, and I'll show you that works, you just pop your probe on one side, your tone generator on the other, it tucks right down in there. Seals up nice, so it's a good way to store the entire kit, have it all together with you. So you get the case with both of them. Like I said, the only difference is the actual probe itself. And, uh, you know, this one not having a filter, the other one does have a filter. So with that said, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, all those actions on this channel help uh, keep me bringing this content to you. So with that said, uh, thanks for joining us today, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next video.